welcome to this special series of Earth from Space interviews on the European Space Agency Web TV. Thousands of people are currently debating possible political countermeasures to climate change at the COP21 summit in Paris. The UN Framework Convention on Climate Change has long recognized the need for global observations of so-called essential climate variables, which we at ESA are providing from satellite data within its climate change initiative. Some of the leading scientists on the essential climate variables have been kind enough to explain just what they're measuring within their project, why it's needed, and what it is good for. Let's go take a look. Carbon dioxide and methane are the two most important man-made so-called greenhouse gases responsible for global warming. And in order to make reliable climate prediction, we need to have a good understanding of their surface sources and sinks. And the satellite data, together with modeling, give us this information. Our time series starts 2002 using the Skiamaki instrument on the ESA Envisat satellite and we continue this time series with the Japanese GOSAT satellite which had been launched in 2009. When we started with this project we had only limited time series available. Uh, for example for Skiamaki CO2 only a few years and for the GOSAT data only a few months and now we have essentially processed all the Skiamaki data set covering more than 10 years and we also have first multi-year uh, GOSAT data. We also significantly improved the accuracy. For example, for CO2, we are now better, much better than 1%, roughly a quarter of a percent or one parts per million, and before it was about 1% or even worse. There is already a lot of CO2 in the atmosphere, and even strong sources and sinks produce only relative small concentration changes. And these small concentration changes we have to measure very accurately in order to quantify a source or a sink, the strength of them. 